Hello and welcome to Startup Hack. Today we are going to talk about create your own C Sharp attributes. So let's jump right in. Make sure to check out the link down below because we always provide the code samples that you can pull down and follow along so you can see in our project. Do you want to earn a hundred thousand dollars a year? Do you want to become a software developer within just three months? With our amazing course and awesome tutors, you never have to worry about getting stuck. We help students to learn skills that companies want to hire. We are Startup Hack. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. So let's get started. All right, there are many attributes that we use a lot. For example, the required attribute is usually located on the top of the property in a class. This attribute indicates that the property is required and you will get an exception when empty. If you look at the class, you will see that the property title is required. Now, what are the data annotations? The required attribute is located in the namespace system.componentModel.data annotations, which is a popular namespace for everything being used for handling validation to model classes and properties. In addition, attributes located in the data annotations are max length, email address, range, data type, and much more. These are also used a lot when working with entity prime framework. It is possible to stack attributes for one class or property as shown here. Okay, let's create the attribute first. The idea is to decorate the properties of the future movie class with an attribute where I can state the color. Create an attribute is as simple as creating a class. In fact, it's a class with an inheritance to attribute. The only thing you need to keep in mind is the naming convention which states that the name of the attribute class ends with attribute. So creating a class, a custom attribute also has attributes, the irony, you need to define how the attribute can be used by using the attribute usage. Furthermore, you can define the target, which can be a class property, etc. And you can use the attribute on the same target multiple times, true or false. I have configured the attribute in a way it can only be used on properties and it can only be used once on a property. Now we can add parameters to set on the attribute by adding a constructor to the attribute. In this case, we want to set the color. So I add a console color data type to the parameter list of the constructor. I set the default color on console color dot white and also add a public console color so I can access it from another class. So here's the example. This looks like a regular class with a constructor and a read only property. It is, however, the naming convention and the inheritance with attribute making it an attribute. Time to put it to use. I want to use the attribute in the movie class. So here's the basic setup for the movie class. So here's example. Now I want to add colors to each property time to get out the color attribute. So here's the example. Do you notice that the attribute of color attribute is not there? That is because of the naming convention. C Sharp will remove it to keep the code clean and easy to read. It is a part of the C Sharp language design. All right, let's move to the program.cs. I'm not going to explain a lot about the following code since it must be seen pretty straightforward. So here's an example. If you run this application, you will see this. All right, we need one method to read the attributes of the property we are reading and get the color. We then send back that color, use it and move to the next property. So here's an example. This method gets the name of the property and looks it up in the movie class using reflection. When the property is found, C Sharp can read the attribute color attribute and extract the information. If the attribute is found, the color is sent back. Otherwise, the default color, which will be set before showing the movies will be returned. So this is how the whole program.cs class looks like. So here's the example. I have assigned variable over here. After that, this main, after that, I have created this method. Now let's run the project. See, you will see the results over here. It's in red, green, blue, red, green, blue. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned the concept of how to create custom attribute in C Sharp. 
So don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for latest updates. To joining our course, you can simply go to our website called startuphack.com. Thank you.